right, everybody, we're almost there to the eighth anniversary. Three days. So the third, uh, third, like the three-day remaining countdown um, image is Yardrat Goku. So we're going to be showing him off in a video here. Uh, this guy's a little bit old now, but he was decent whenever he first released as a free-to-play unit. I was never a huge fan, but I know a lot of people got no-item runs using this guy in Pure Saiyan Extreme Super Battle Road, which was one of the toughest events in the game at the time of its release. So... Uh, this guy's stats are definitely free to play level. They, uh, they they don't look very good, and I don't think I have any equips on this guy. And I gave him like all crit. <laughs> Uh, you, you probably want to give this guy dodge is what you want to actually give him. But anyway, his passive here is attack and defense plus 59%. He gets an additional 59% attack and defense when performing a super attack. He gets an additional 20% attack and defense and chance of performing a critical hit up to 21% within the same turn with each attack performed. Not bad. Uh, I, does that count? Um, I think that counts counters, right? High chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, is the first attacker in the turn. Damage received, reduced, uh, damage received from normal attacks, minus 59%, and counters with tremendous or enormous power in the second or third slot. So this guy kind of wants to just be used as a floater. Now, my biggest issue with this guy, before we get into anything with this kit right here, is his links. This guy actually doesn't have prepared for battle. He just has shocking speed and Saiyan lineage. Now, they've definitely made Saiyan lineage a lot better as time has gone on, but um, it, it just doesn't really work the best with this team um, that we're running here, uh, the Saiyan Saga team. So if we go ahead and look at it, does this unit have Saiyan lineage? No. They are prepared for battle. What does Gohan have? Prepared for battle. This guy. Prepared for battle. Uh, this is the one we just looked at. Oh, no. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't back all the way out, no. <laughs> this guy actually does have shocking speed, so this is good. We'll, we end uh, Saiyan lineage. So we're going we're gonna to try to run this guy in slot 1 and this guy in slot 2, but they actually don't link together. So we're actually not going to do that because <laughs> they have the same name. So that's unfortunate. And then this guy does have shocking speed. So we're going to try to run him occasionally next to him. But he also has Saiyan lineage. But like this isn't a slot one unit. And really this guy isn't either because I think he has to attack first to get that dodge chance. So we, we can't really run him in slot one. Um, so actually, I don't know really what our rotations are going to be. But we, we will make it work. Really the only slot one unit on the team. Well, no, we have two. We have this guy. We have this Gohan. And this guy right here. So uh, I guess that's going to be our slot one rotations. We're going to have him on the team. And then everybody else is a slot two unit. So we are bringing this support memory here. It gives 15% attack and defense to Android slash Cell Saga category allies. We are only in normal super battle road here. But this stage is a little bit tough. Um, so I should prob probably bring an extra item. But uh, we're, we're going to try to do one without it. And if we uh, if we fail, then you know we'll, we'll hop back in. You know, we're just trying to have fun here. That's the goal. Okay. Uh, immediately, we have... Uh, <laughs> nice. We, uh, I guess we don't have intros. I was expecting intros. We don't have any intros on this team. So, we have a decent opening rotation here in terms of links for Goku. But, uh, depending on how this attack placement goes, you know, we, we might be in a bad way. Let's see. I really wish that they would add voice acting to these support memories. It's nice that they have them, but, uh, you know, I, I'd really like if there was voice acting. It's just like a little bit, you know? All right, uh, we actually... You know what? We can leave Goku in slot one here. Let's go ahead and try to take out Slug. Now, remember, he's going to have a 50% chance to dodge, but he won't be able to counter on this turn, so... Uh, nice. We got both of our slot two units in turn two, I just noticed. That's great. Um, yeah, let's try to take out Slug. So let's grab all of those. That's fine. Uh, again, we're, we're just going to try to... We're going to focus in on Slug, except for Vegeta. Vegeta's going to shoot Nail. He's going to pull out the Glock. All right. <laughs> Ooh. 117k type advantage is not great in normal Super Battle Road. <laughs> uh, that's also not great. I would have appreciated the dodge there, buddy. Uh, we might be dead instantly. We, we might have to go find an easier event. If we die instantly, we, we might go. We, we're going to go into an easier event for sure because, uh, listen, I, I'm not I'm not ready to... Yeah, we're, I think we're dead instantly. Cool. Trunks is okay, but he, he's not he's not built like this. Yeah. All right, let's go find an easier event to do. All right, we're hopping over to the legendary Goku event. So, like I said, these videos are just meant to be, like, fun, just like uh, I'm copying the, uh, the, the countdown screens, and we're just taking a look at some units that maybe we haven't looked at in a while, so... 
Uh, that, that's kind of the goal here. All right, we already watched the support memory. We don't need to watch it again. So here we go. Now, now we can actually see Goku's counters. He's going to have the damage reduction up. As long as Trunks doesn't just go absolutely Hamtaro and uh, take this guy out immediately. <laughs> which which could happen. We, 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 we will see. You know, this is kind of the issue right now. I really wish the burst mode in this event was permanent. You know, one thing I was talking about on Goresh with this a little bit. You know, oh my goodness, we're just... Okay, well, uh, that's the legendary Goku event for you, but... um. I was kind of talking about this, I pitched out the idea of, you know, uh, burst mode really is this tool that they've implemented into the game that they could really mold and sculpt into whatever they need it to be, and it could be like a real gateway to some nice replayable content. Let me go ahead and just pull up that thread uh, so that I can actually see what I actually said, um, kind of like get actual quotes from me. That way I'm not just like rambling about something, right? I have a tweet, I can go pull it up, it just might take a minute, give me a second. All right, here we go. I found it. So I was saying, I think burst mode could be utilized a lot better as well. It's a vessel to what we want. Customizable challenge events, which I think is true. And I just said, imagine if we could increase the number of attacks per turn an enemy does or change their typings, as well as like the additional features that we already have, you know, increasing their attack and defense. If I could hop into this legendary Goku event and say, okay, you know, his attack frequency is normal, but like, let me double it or triple it or increase it by like a number amount. So, you know, if it gave me like first phase, you know, if attack frequency is is like, I don't know, three or four, or something like that, right? And it's like, okay, well, let me increase it to, like, give me like a dial. Like it's set, like it's set to normal and it says like three and I could decrease it to like one and then I could increase it to like 10, right? And just let me like slide on that dial to increase the number of attacks they do. Um, and then like, you know, give me like, okay, first phase is also tech. You know, let me like inverse that, you know, just give me like an inverse typings button that flips it and just makes it different, right? Or, um, so, so like this tech phase would be int instead of tech, right? And so it, it would play out differently. You would have to think about different team builds and the way you do things as well as let me, you know, it's like, okay, here's their damage, you know, let me increase it by X percentage, you know, like we already can and just leave that up permanently. You know, like why, why can't we do that, um, in Dokkan right now? I think that would be like a really, really great idea. Um, I think people would really enjoy that, but... You know, who, who am I? What do I know? <laughs> um, but, you know, it's like, I really do think that that, it's like, why, they, they implemented burst mode, right? And they, they give us, like, one a month, and it's just kind of like a little thing that we do. But that that little dev tool, they're, they're giving us, like, these sandbox tools to really build events in the way that we want to. It's like, you can customize them. You know, I, I did a showcase, the other the, the other showcase that I did for the fourth anniversary countdown, I did it in the Gotenks event. You know, I just kind of messed around with this damage a little bit. I said, okay, make him hit just a little bit harder, make his defense a little bit higher, make his HP a little bit higher. I didn't go crazy with it or anything, but um, I just gave him slightly higher stats to make it a little harder so that I could do a showcase in there in a different event. And it was maybe comparable with this legendary Goku event. Not as many phases, but I, I feel like it was like a comparable in about length and time that I think this is going to take. Maybe even a little bit longer. So it, it was nice being able to have those tools. Imagine if I could just customize it a little bit further. That way, whenever you have like units that need to get hit a million times, you can say, okay, you know, normally this boss attacks, like what is he attacking right now? Five times? Let me increase to, this to like 10 or 15. That way there's just a better chance for me to be able to build up these characters because right now it's so just like boring and lame, like not having any events where we can really just build up these characters and test them out and then, you know, give it rewards, you know, it's, it's just like, you know, have like a weekly challenge of go clear the legendary Goku event with this modifier or this modifier. It's like, you know, go in and you know, they can keep the score system too and just say, just like they have it and just have like a weekly mission where it's like go clear the legendary Goku event in a burst mode and score a score higher than like 5,000 and just let the player customize the event and then it's infinitely replayable because then players can say oh I got 5,000 points and I made it like 50 turns and it took me a really long time to grind it out and all of my units were like stacking up to 15 million attack stats because I brought a bunch of like a million stackers and so he wasn't really hitting me hard but I got to test out these units and you know it's like I'm, I was rewarded for taking the time to play through like a 50 turn event right which is kind of what it is right now but then have like another player say like oh i did it in like five turns and i just ramped up all of the enemy's attacks so that i just really had to uh, get in there and like dodge a bunch of attacks and build up my characters quickly i was able to see like a bunch of anime you know you you guys kind of get the vibe that i'm going for here right and so suddenly all these players are having different experiences and they're able to customize these events that make it interesting to them i i think that would be just be such a good idea for Dokkan to implement and you know it's like 10 people are gonna watch this video right like maybe maybe like at best we get like 30 people to watch this video and um 
uh, you know, it's like, I, I hope that you guys watching this maybe can agree or can help me, like, build on this idea and maybe help, like, spread this idea throughout the community so that, you know, more people are on board with it. And, you know, Goresh threw out the idea of, um, you know, what if they started kind of getting more creative with the unit designs as well? Like, what if they let you, like, you put a unit on your team, right, and they let you bring an extra support item. It's like you get, like, a bonus, so, um, you know, they could implement that in, like, separate ways, and, like, maybe you unlock like, a fifth item slot, or maybe it adds one to, you know, one of your items, so, you know, instead of, like, three Senzu, or instead of two Senzu beans, you get to bring three um, into an event, and that could be, like, a huge game changer for an event like Cell Max, or, um... Uh, units that get extra buffs for being a leader, you know, so it's like, okay, you put this unit as their leader, and as a leader, maybe they give, like, three key, but only as the leader units. That way, it's like, okay, you run their team, and you're rewarded for it. It's like, you know, you're, some of these leader units, it's like, they, they just really don't work well as leaders. They're okay, like, compliments as other um, uh, characters on a team, right? Like, uh, they, they, um, yeah, like, I don't know, this AGL Gohan, for instance, he, he's an okay leader. But he's not a 200%, so you don't really want to run him as a leader. But he's a great complement to many of the teams he's on. But what if um, this Gohan, as a leader unit, um, only as the leader, gave like an extra like three key and 40% attack and defense to all allies or something like that, right? Then it's like, okay, well maybe we do want to run him as the leader for the Kamehameha team because you know we just we get that extra support, and then suddenly we have two support units floating around that are guarding and stacking and are just really good, right? So, you know, that, that could be a great thing. Or a unit that gets two times effectiveness from skill orbs is another idea that he threw out. It's like, okay, um, it, it's like, it, just these creative ideas that I really think Dokkan could be doing. It's just, they, they haven't really delved into trying to really push the boundaries of the basic formula of Dokkan. And so I think if they, if they kind of like pushed it a little bit further with these units, you know, you start implementing unique abilities. It's like, okay, you know, they, they've kind of done it a little bit with like Yajirobe, where it's like, okay, as the third attacker in the turn, he gets like all these extra support buffs, he gets all these other buffs in his passive, but what, why not make it like, um, you know, we have like characters that get like buffs as the first attacker, but, but why not, you know, make it so that, okay, well, as the leader character, they get these extra buffs, you know, why, why, why not do that as well? All right, um, should we just transform trunks for the fun of it? Why not? Th this event's not too hard. We can transform trunks in here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and turn the volume down. Sorry. Again, I, I never know if I'm turning that up too loud. I probably am, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We can actually see Goku do a counter here or two. <laughs> there we go. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, it's just, like, I really do think you know, we're moving. We're in the ninth year of Dokkan right now. We're about to be, like, for JP, we're in the ninth year. And for Global, we're about to be moving into the ninth year. We're at the tail end of the eighth year. Um, and we're moving into the 8th year anniversary, like, obviously that's how that works, right? So, you know, like, the first year of Dokkan, it's not the first anniversary, right? The, the first anniversary marks the start of the second year, so the, the 8th anniversary then marks the start of the ninth year, right? You, you guys get how that works. Um, so it's like, we're moving into the ninth year, and we haven't really seen this kind of innovation, and it's like, we're, we're, we're so close with burst mode, I, I feel like that mode really could be implemented to help shape the game and turn it into something, like, special. You know, it's like suddenly we, we can create our own content. Like, that's that's really what Dokkan needs. You know, Legends has PvP. That is kind of like their equivalent of making your own content. It's like, okay, we got the new unit, and now we're going to go fight, you know, 50 different teams. I say 50 different. Actually, it's like three different teams. <laughs> you know, like uh, Le Legends, they don't get too creative with their, their team builds. You know, there, there is a meta. But you still do, you know, fight different players who have different play styles and do things differently. And so you, you're they kind of have their own content system that players build themselves and that they're fighting each other. Well, Dokkan's a PvE-based game, so why not give us more PvE sandbox tools that make the game better and more customizable? Let's go ahead and transform into Gohan here as well.
Alrighty, there we go. We got this Gohan out now. So let me know what you guys think Dokkan could be doing to like improve um, replayability of the game and just improve the overall user experience. Now this kind of sucks. At least we're going to get our hits in, but we're not really going to get an attack in here. Um, we'll save Super Vegeta's uh, active skill for the end phase. So, uh, you know, it's just like I feel like there's so much Dokkan could be doing. And specifically, like I, I've said this like five times now in this video, but first, we're so close with burst mode. You know, just make it like a permanent event on, like, the Legendary Goku event. Let's start there. Just make it permanently available on the Goku event. I'm sure that can't be hard. And then let's let's build on it. Let's build on what we have. It's like, you've let us increase stats. Let us increase other things. I know you can do that. It, I don't know how hard it would be. Maybe players would be able to exploit it somehow. But it's just like, man, let, let us really build on what we have. Um, okay, so we're, we're getting close to the end of the event here. Let me know what you guys think, you know, is there more that Dokkan can be doing? Are they doing enough? Uh, what, what do you guys want to see going into the ninth year? You know, this is like a eighth anniversary countdown, but it's also, I want these to kind of be, you know, the first one wasn't very good. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Like the first video, I was really tired and I just kind of made it. I just needed to get a video out. I was going to see a movie and I just made a video. Okay, are we dead here? I don't think, I hope, hopefully we're not dead. Surely Trunks wouldn't die to this Goku from 1944. Come on. Okay, good. It's like, come on, Trunks. We, we can be better than that, buddy. <clears throat> um. All right, nice. <laughs> Goku's gonna catch us in this event, isn't he? <laughs> uh, but you know, it's just like I, I, I want to see more from the Dokkan devs moving forward. It's like we're, we're we're getting into the ninth year. We can push the formula just a little bit, you know. Dude, sick counter. Um. So yeah, what, what, you know, it's like, I, I wish I was streaming right now, then, then I really could get some, like, feedback, but, um, uh, it's just, man, Dokkan could be doing more. Alright, nice, this, this is gonna do some damage here. Um, I could do this and get all seven links, or, well, I guess six out of seven links. No, no, it would be seven out of seven. I, I, I could do this, why not? Why not, why not? We can't transform this event anyway with the AGL Gohan, so let's, let's just get six out of seven here. Or, I'm sorry, seven out of seven active. Um, you know, hopefully Goku, like, oh no, this is a, he isn't a key bass, bleh, he isn't a key base super attack, so we, we can't, uh, counter him. Yeah, sadly. <sighs> this Gohan is a really interesting character, you know, uh, whenever he released, he definitely, like, looked insane, people were like, oh, maybe, maybe this Gohan on his own is, like, the best unit in the game if he was this on turn one. And I think if he was just this on turn one, he would definitely uh, stand out. Now, keep in mind, he does get a lot of power from the attack stacks, uh, attack stacks that the Goku does before he transforms. Uh, th those especially help his uh, counter. But, um, you know, it's like, uh, the issue with this guy always was, it's like, okay, but it's kind of like the same issue as Super 17, which is interesting, right? That uh, a unit a year later kind of has the same issue. And that it's like, okay, finally, we got him out on turn seven. Well, now we have to rebuild him up, right? <laughs> You know, pe people were kind of tired of that whenever this Gohan came out, or maybe they give him a little bit of a pass, but, um, it it's the exact same issue, right? Okay, dude, can you not? This guy has, like, a 10% chance to dodge, and he's dodged, like, five attacks. Uh, but, you know, dodge this, right? Yeah, this is still a top 10 OST, by the way. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Uh, is this guaranteed to hit? I don't remember. Does the active skill make it guaranteed to hit? Uh, it turn? No. Does he just normally have that in his passive? For some reason, I thought he had that. No. Dude, look how basic... This was like the best unit in the game on release, and look how basic this passive is. That's crazy. Alright, there we go. That's gonna end up the video, or it should, assuming this, you know, rat bastard doesn't dodge Vegeta. Like, come on, you wouldn't dare. Yeah, 9.2 million. Dude, this dude on release was absolutely insane, and he's still super great for Super Battle Roads, so... There we go. Alright, let's get that KO screen. Let's end it off here. You know, let, again, let me know what you guys think Dokkan should add in the future. You know, what events, game modes, 
Uh, what, what, what would you like to see? I think, importantly for me, I would like to see more sandbox tools. They've kind of given us it with burst mode, but I would like to see more in the future. I'd like to see it develop more, fleshed out more. So, again, let me know what you guys think. Oh, you know what would be really cool? Uh, just before we end, uh, you know, Halo and just other games now, they have, like, custom games browsers. Uh, imagine if you could make a custom event and then you could, like, post it to a community board and, you know, players could play, like, customized events. So, you you know, somebody could make their own, like, legendary Frieza event and that they, like, go into, like, a Frieza Dokkan event, like the tech one, and they, like, modify it, they change the typings, they increase the attack frequency, damage, HP, and then they're able to post that as, like, a customized event. And they're just like, hey, check out my Frieza burst mode that I've created uh, to kind of simulate the legendary Frieza event, and then you could play other people's customized events. I think that would be a really, really cool idea. So let me know what you guys would think about that. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with some more content.